So up until now, our industry has measured on-road reliability of autonomous vehicles in the millions of miles. Very impressive. But to achieve full mobility, we actually need reliability that is a million times better than what's been achieved. We need trillion-mile reliability. History, 1933, Toyota recognized that the world was changing. Our company back then was making fabric looms, but automobiles were defining the future of mechanical manufacturing. Toyota has traditionally been a hardware company, first and foremost, because in the past, the most important technology for enhancing human mobility was hardware. In fact, there was an old joke, I like it a lot, Toyota is the world's best manufacturing company, it just happens to make cars. But times now are changing, and as Bob first explained, software and data are now essential components of Toyota's future mobility strategy. And it's entirely possible, thinking about our history, that robots are going to become, for today's Toyota, what the car industry was back when Toyota was making looms. In fact, when we think about the love that people have for their cars, home robots may eventually become even more personally prized in the future than cars have been in the past. TRI is going to enthusiastically pursue collaborations with others. I want to make that very clear. We don't have not invented here syndrome. We really don't. We want to collaborate with other OEMs, with other IT companies, with other suppliers, with other research labs, and with universities. We want to do that to jointly develop autonomy technology for safety and accessibility, and there's a lot to be accomplished. In other words, Toyota's goal is to move people across the room, across town, and across the country. We have reasonable fears about whether technology will always work in our best interest. Is the technology competent to do the jobs that we assign to it, particularly to keep us safe and to drive us autonomously? We need to make sure that the autonomous agents, given these powers to make life and death decisions, are capable of being audited so that when something happens, the car can explain why did it happen. Most of what has been collectively accomplished by all of us working in this field has actually been relatively easy. And the reason that it's easy is that most driving is easy. So where we need help in autonomy, where we really need autonomy to help us the most, is actually not when driving is easy. We know how to drive when driving is easy. We can do it when we're not half paying attention, and we wonder how it was that we finally got home while we were thinking of something else. We need to not only solve driving when it's easy, we need to solve driving when it's hard, when it's difficult. And it's that hard part that TRI intends to address.